Hello everyone and welcome back. This is your host, Veteran Mountain Man, and today is another Prepared Monday. And today's topic is actually that not all prepping plans are equal. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you start preparing for emergencies and you start thinking about what you'll need in the case of an emergency, not all emergencies have the same issues. And that's fine because not all emergencies are the same. However, what you should be thinking about when you start thinking about emergencies is what exactly you need at all times. And this comes down to several very basic features because the human being needs several very basic things to survive. You're going to need some shelter. You're going to need food. You're going to need water. You're going to need a way to replenish your food and water. You're going to need a way to provide for your own physical security and the security of your supplies. And you're going to need to have a diversity of supplies because you're going to need fuel to cook with. You're going to need fuel to heat water to bathe with. You're going to need dry goods, shirts, pants, shoes. And some of these things you can make yourself, especially once you start getting into the swing of surviving on your own. But some of these things you're going to want multiples of, and you're going to want hard-wearing, hard-using components when you when you look at this. Some of the things that you'll want to look at is what type of material you know clothing are made of, what type of material your cookware is made of, how easy is it to care for, Can you care for it by hand or does it need special conditions to be cared for? And what you want is you want simplest care, ease of use, and durability when you start looking at these items. When it comes for food, you want to look at diversity of nutrition, ease of growing or acquiring, and ease of preparation. You also want to look at ease of preserving because you're going to need to store food throughout the winter and you'll probably want to produce more than you can consume seriously so that you have the ability to overproduce and have extra available to you in the event that you need to help others barter for something or other items. Uh, Also something you want to look at is becoming as self-sufficient as possible. So when I start talking about all of these prepping techniques, which I've been discussing now for over 20 episodes, part of what I'm trying to push to you is this idea that you need to understand what you're preparing for and you need to make sure that it's self-contained, self-sufficient. And that doesn't always necessarily mean expensive. I mean, there are really good hard-wearing clothing that's out there that isn't expensive. You don't have to go to a brand name department store to get good heavy denim jeans. There are a lot of different places where you can go and get brands that are just as good that aren't nearly as expensive. But what you need to do is look at what you're actually getting. And that means educating yourself a bit on what you actually need. And I know in this day and age of ample production and ample technology and the ability to call up information at your fingertips, sometimes we forget about these basic needs. So I'm going to also try to make sure that I get some articles in here in this video blog that will discuss some of the very basic functionalities of human survival and some historical context with that. And in the future, I'm hoping that you'll pay attention to these even more than some of my basic articles and some of my intermediate articles, because these are actually much more advanced and will teach you some of the techniques that you need to do to take your preparations one step further and make sure no matter what happens, you're not going to be one of the ones that perishes because of it. You're going to survive and thrive and be free. Well, thank you all again for joining me on this Prepared Monday. Please remember to upvote and follow me here on Vidme. You can also follow me on BitChute, Patreon, 
Minds.com, Gab.ai, and Twitter. All the links are down below, as well as my usernames for Gab and Twitter. Also, don't forget, I do this exclusively for you guys, and I don't have a huge budget. So if you want to help me out, come on over to Patreon and contribute. A dollar a month helps quite a bit. And the more I get contributions, the easier it is for me to do this. Thank you all, and have yourselves a great day.